Cheers. Cooler. Ecto cooler. By who? Eagle Park. Eagle Park. Brewing Company. company. 5% alcohol. Good crack on it. Yeah, nice crack. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Tastes like Ecto Cooler. Nice citrusy. Yeah, it tastes it. <clears throat> that's. I like the can too. I good, didn't see the can. I just saw the green. It's a good the can, greenness. Good can, good flavor. Yeah, those are fucking dangerous. Yeah, I can murder. A yeah, bunch we of these. pounded a few of these. They were good. I enjoy them. <laughs> well. Shout out to uh, Wild Childs for hooking us up with a Yeah, six thank pack. you. Thanks, Ryan. They stuffed uh, my kids' pockets full of beer. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, those are fucking good. God damn. Like it? Yeah. Good shit. It's not a beer. It's a seltzer? I don't even know if I could call it that. I think it's, it is a beer. It doesn't have any, like, beer flavor to it. I'm pretty sure it's a beer. I mean, I was... I was at a beer garden. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're probably drinking white claws and shit in there too. How dare you? Were they? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dudes with tight pants. <laughs> Were they? Huh? <laughs> Just keep them cold. Uh, <laughs> drink all six. Don't drink all six tonight. And wash it down with a Fuck. blue mini. <laughs> blue mini. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, I enjoy them. Yeah, those are. <clears throat> I can drink those year round and not be sad about it. I know it's just me being a dickhead, but I get confused when I see guys drinking White Claws. Yeah. I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. Even That's more. You're on? Even more now, because there's so many varieties of seltzers. Right. My lady, you know, she was balls deep into the White Claw, and yeah. she can't stand them. She will not drink anything. When they first came out there, everybody was just, <sighs> fucking, oh, they're so good. And then 30 other seltzers came out that were better. Yeah. White Claw had the market for a long time, and they yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, then they got dumped But they didn't, on. like, change it up. They were just like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, they changed these, it like, up. Cakes. Well, eventually, they had, yeah. like, a tequila one and a... Yeah, but then oh, better, fucking... better seltzers came in. I mean, I like Happy Dad over fucking White Claw. I don't like any of those because it's... Like, it's weird because I like pop. Like, I like the fizz. Yeah. But, like, when it comes to, like, alcohol... You don't want the fizz. No. I don't want the fizz. Well, it's also because you've been unless it's a you know something mixed with Sprite. Yeah, it, yeah. If it's a cocktail, <clears throat> I just there's not enough flavor. It tastes like it tastes like like a water. fucking Perrier. Yeah, it tastes like seltzer water. It yeah, tastes like a LaCroix. I don't like seltzer water. I don't yeah. like Lacroix. Yeah, one hundred percent. There it is. We found the mystery. Yeah, yeah. I like like I said, water. this doesn't even have a like a beer aftertaste. So that's why. I'm... Said it. I don't know. I wonder what it is. Should we Google it? <laughs> Watch you Google it. <laughs> I, I did. It's it so you guys fucking blow. Government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol beverages because it makes them horny and make <laughs> bad decisions. <laughs> Well, shit, man. Yeah. Search in general. How do you think I got my girl? <laughs> Here, baby. Here, have 20 of these. <laughs> look, look, you get all of this. All of this is oh yours. Oh, my God, that's all mine? That's all of yours. <laughs> that's all mine? You get to climb on top of this mountain here, eh? Hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Yeah. Yep. Welcome back. 
to the gentleman's den. Jeff and Sean back in the den. Ah, we're actually in a kind of a good so we're just going to start it. We're start it. Talking. We're uh, right now sipping on an ecto cooler from what was the brewery again? Eagle River or Eagle, Eagle, Twat. Eagle Park? Eagle Park Brewing Company, ecto cooler. It uh, supposedly it's a beer, but it doesn't have the beer aftertaste, so it's it's a tasty beverage. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I I don't either, and I'll drink I a dozen know. of them. I feel like the one that I had at the beer garden wasn't as like tangy. Yeah, these these are good. These are these got a little bit of a maybe it's a little, these are a little bit older or something. They marinated a little bit. Well, they were just sitting out. Yeah, I don't know how long they've been there. He gave them to us. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, shout out Wild Child, shout out Ryan. Get well soon, buddy. <clears throat> Jesus. Yeah, he's gone through it, huh? Dude, he has five. Ghosts are back. Five holes in his hit his lung worked on. <laughs> My lady's got five holes. <laughs> <laughs> and he only filled two of them. Uh, well, three. She's not her, here to defend herself. Three on her, three on your birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, dude, it's my, it's my birthday. This week's sponsor. Ooh, who we got? I'm excited. The pet butler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you own a pet? Do you want a butler? Do you like to have parties? Then this This is, is the product for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it's yeah. a serving vest for your animals. <laughs> your guests will love petting and partying. <laughs> Notice the <laughs> ashtray. <laughs> 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 Good help is hard. Is it hard to find? It's right at your feet. <laughs> Introducing the new line of products designed to give your guests the VIP treatment: hors d'oeuvres, bottle service, table side toothpicks. Your animals can be <laughs> delivered. <laughs> can deliver it all with the pet butler serving vest. <laughs> if it has a flat bottom, your pet can haul it. <laughs> If you have a hamster or a gerbil, oh, God. the small vest will carry the toothpicks. If you got a medium cat, most fits most cats, terriers, poodles, pugs, schnauzers, <laughs> and large rabbits. <laughs> and the large tummy hurts. <laughs> the large is the right size for labrador, labradors, retrievers, <laughs> shepherds. Mastiffs, Danes, and Greyhounds. Oh my God! Let's see what else they. What other products? I'm excited to try this. It's Todd Larson's pet butler <laughs> serving vest. <laughs> my patented magnetic disc system will attach almost anything to the serving vest. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> fuck it! The ashtray on the cat. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Bring it in. Todd Larson's pet butler serving vest. I love it. Because most people, you know, they have a dog. And if they doing shit at a party, <laughs> might as well put them to work. They also have uh, the pet petter and a pet sweep where you put, <clears throat> put them on their feet. Do you think PETA shut this down already? Oh, God. PETA, PETA would, would murder this guy. <laughs> They'd take him out back. <laughs> I mean, we need to take check a look on at, the well-being Take a look at Todd Larson oh, no, Todd <laughs> Todd Todd may be on the registry He looks like a guy you can't trust <laughs> Yeah, he might be on the registry <laughs> Todd looks like the uncle that's not around, allowed around the kids no, no. Or dogs and cats anymore <laughs> <laughs> Todd Larson's pet butler serving best <clears throat> for animals I love it Go get you some. Go get you one. Only 35 payments in 1995, and it could be yours. 35. <laughs> Easy payments. Follow Todd on Facebook. Todd Larson. I am Todd Larson. That's who we got to follow on Facebook. I wonder if he's got the blue check mark. Paid for that bitch. <laughs> oh, yes. Do you have to pay yet or no? To um, be verified? On Twitter, you can pay for the blue check. Or, sorry, 
X. X. You paid for the blue check mark. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Sorry about last week. That's okay. That was on me. I uh, went out and did some shite. Yeah, you went and seen, uh, what was it? Killers of Kill Tony? Yes. How yeah. was that? It was good. It was funny. Uh, shout out to, uh, I gotta think of who was all on it now. Cam Patterson, Hans Kim, David Lucas, Jesse Jetski Johnson, and David Jolly. It was funny. It was a good time. I mean, I got done like a, we got back by 11, but I didn't think you wanted to record that late because it would have been a yeah. sleepy time. Me and the lady were just chilling, watching movies. That yeah, was a good weekend. And by chilling, watching movies, I mean sleeping. That's what we were doing yesterday. We normally record on Fridays because it's easier for us because everybody's off. We just got off work and whatever. And to just get it done because shit pops up. Because usually in the weekends, it's always like, oh, we'll do it Saturday. And then party pops off. and Yeah, and then we're not doing just it. Just get and, it done. And we, and we let you down, and we don't like letting you guys down. We yeah. like uh, putting out this mm-hmm. wonderful content that you guys eat up. Because like. I know how it feels. I let Kayla down a lot. <laughs> You guys eat up our content like, you know, three, four hundred pounders at Grand at Golden Corral. Mm. Um, num, 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 this num, is num. a fucking laugh buffet. <laughs> <laughs> is that the new slogan? <laughs> the gentleman's dead. A laugh a buffet. A buffet of laughs. <laughs> Hope you're hungry, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You like the flavor? <laughs> There's the flavor. Oh, man. I know you've seen it, the fucking old country buffet training video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, he's carving the meat. Do you catch the game tonight? Yeah, yeah. That, guy, <laughs> that guy looks like he's got so many felonies. <laughs> he's got at least two DUIs, that's for sure. <laughs> Make small talk with the kids. Yeah, because if the kids are happy, the parents kids come back. <laughs> Have you tried the roast beef? It's my favorite. <laughs> Carve you a slice of that fucking ham bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't been to a fucking buffet in a long time. Like, Even in Vegas, we didn't go to a buffet. I was surprised. Normally, that's like what they're known for. Let's be honest. When we were in Vegas, we didn't eat much. No, liquid lunch. It was a lot, of, lot of, <laughs> lot of booze. I mean, besides you and shout out to Evil Pizza, Evil Knievel's Pizza. <laughs> oh, so yeah. You ate that every night. What was that skit? I don't know. It was like a dipshit dad. Ah, what did he eat? <laughs> God, I can't remember. He was running through everything he ate that day. It was like cocaine, and then I'll drink my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh like grumpy old men i have bacon for breakfast a bacon, that's what it was a bacon sandwich for lunch <laughs> and i drink my dinner usually <laughs> that's what it was oh fuck a false memory <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, i mean maybe that was your dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck it was <laughs> Uh, <laughs> some sh- cocaine and I'll drink my dinner. <laughs> well, have you ever heard like Hunter S. Thompson's day? Yeah, I've uh, where he like because uh, that guy followed him around. Yeah, and he like noted everything, and he was like, "Oh, cocaine, yeah. six thirty a.m. Yeah, yeah. more cocaine, yeah. six forty-five <laughs> bottle of Shivas Ringo." <laughs> You should look it up. Can you get it? And yeah. then we'll read it. Yeah. Because it is, uh, it's pretty epic. <laughs> you wonder why the guy died. When well, he you did. wonder, though, maybe because someone was there, he went like. I don't think so. No, think, that was just normal. Well, did you ever see the videos of him shooting at his neighbors? No. Oh, dude, it's hilarious. I don't know much about him. I just know he was, he was a writer for what magazine? He was like a freelance writer. Oh, okay, freelance. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's very, I don't, is he more well known for his partying over his writing? 
I, I mean, I mean, they made the movie Fear, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Which like was how book. accurate was that? It, that was him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Hunter S. Thompson's daily routine: three p.m. rise. <laughs> 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 Rise. Three oh five Chevis Regal whiskey with morning papers and Dunhills cigarettes. Three forty five cocaine. Three fifty another glass of Chevis and another Dunhill. Four oh five first cup of coffee and a Dunhill. Four fifteen cocaine. Four sixteen <laughs> orange juice and a Dunhill. Four thirty cocaine. Four fifty four cocaine. Five oh five cocaine. <laughs> Five eleven coffee and Dunhills. He's not even been up for three hours. 5.30, more ice in the Chivas. 5.45, cocaine, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> oh. Six o'clock, grass to take the edge off of the day. He's been up for three hours. <laughs> that edge off, man. Uh, I, I Unfortunately, I'm not going to pay to... Uh, continue on this but uh 705 was wood creek tavern for lunch which was a <laughs> heineken two margaritas coleslaw a taco salad a double order of fried onion rings carrot cake ice cream a bean fritter dunhill another co- another heineken cocaine and uh what was and, and for the ride home <laughs> a snow cone a snow cone. A snow cone. And what time is it now? Uh, seven oh five. Wow. Can't even imagine. Let's see if I can find the rest of it. <laughs> Just that was funny. Jesus. Oh, uh, okay. There was the lunch. Double orange rings. Snow cone. A glass of shredded ice. Over poured over. Three or four jiggers of shivis. 5 p.m. cocaine. Is there any shivis in this basket? No, I don't think so. <laughs> or no, 9 p.m. Sorry, 9 p.m. cocaine. 10 drop acid. 11 chartreuse. We got that in there. <laughs> cocaine and grass. 11:30 cocaine. Jesus Christ. Midnight. Hunter ready to write. <laughs> 12:05. To Did he have to take the edge off again? 12:05 to 6 a.m. Chartreuse. Cocaine, grass, shivis, coffee, Heineken, clove cigarettes. Uh, where are we at? Clove cigarettes, grape juice, Dunhills, orange juice, gin. 6 a.m. in the hot tub, champagne, Dove bars, fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> in the hot tub? In the hot with tub. With the fettuccine yeah. Alfredo? 8 a.m. Uh, Halcyon. And 8.20, asleep. So he gets up at 3 p.m. and just fucking parties. <laughs> it's all day. That's when you know you've made it. When you got fettuccine Alfredo in a hot tub. That's how you know. Uh, and there's a bunch of things to say that's false, but I don't think it is. I don't know how that could be possible. That's so much. That's a lot. Holy shit, that's a lot of blow. We should try that, like, one day, just to see Not if we could do it. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> we wouldn't make it past the first. Has someone ever tried the Hunter S. Thompson uh, I'm sure. gauntlet? I'm sure. But there's a video out there of... If I smoke weed, I'm just going right to bed. Well, he, t- he does it to take the edge off. You know, you gotta calm <laughs> just down. to take the edge off. Yeah. You just pounded down an eight ball of blow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, you know, even at even my worst times of my youth in the debauchery I did, mm-hmm. it was never that hard. No. Like, it's hard. Like, yeah, day drinking. We've sure. done it plenty of times. We mixed in with a little bit of the, the <laughs> devil's lettuce. 3 p.m. Rise. <laughs> How awesome it would be to be able to sleep till 3 p.m. And then write at midnight. Yeah. which And then finish it off with cocaine and fettuccine Alfredo in a hot tub. Just 
Dunhill. Pull the Dunhill <laughs> out. Eat some fucking fettuccine. Dunhill back in the old yap. Holy balls. You dude. think he just pulled the cigarette out and then put a scoop of it and then ate it? and then Yeah. <laughs> yes. I guarantee he eats with a cigarette. Yeah. God. <clears throat> every day, though, just fettuccine Alfredo. Oh. I'm sure he didn't have it every day. <sighs> he seemed like a creature of habit. Probably. Oh, my God. Just his bathroom. The paint had to just peel off the walls. <laughs> I don't know. He probably just shit himself. <laughs> no. So you've never seen the video of him firing shots at his neighbor as his neighbor shooting no. at him? Oh, man. It's it's a good one. It's... Why is he shooting at his neighbors? <laughs> Who knows? I feel I could just picture him. <sighs> like I I would couldn't imagine him having neighbors. Like, I picture him would have, like, a secluded. He did have a, so they were far enough away. Somewhere where nobody's around so he can get up to his debauchery. (sighs) What a wild dude. And then I think Johnny Depp, didn't he pay, like, millions of dollars to fucking shoot his ashes out of a cannon? (laughs) I don't know. I swear to God, you got to look that up. You chucking your bastard! You just let me shoot them aside. Hard shot, you asshole! The people who did this uh, Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were uh, good people. Hey, like this. <laughs> and it's a good place. Here we are in the middle of it, but that's on the mountain. If this son of a bitch wants to bitch about his cows over here and shoot at me, well, it's our country. It's not there. It's not a bunch of used car dealers from Southern California. California? You have to be a player. My Lord. <laughs> He's like taking cover. Yeah. <clears throat> you can hear the fucking bullets. See how much Johnny Depp paid did for his funeral. It was a lot. Uh, what were we looking at? How much Johnny Depp paid for Hunter S. Thompson's funeral? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he hung out with him quite a bit, apparently. Obviously, he did that movie. And he was probably doing cocaine. This was before the poop incident. (laughs) You know what, man? When you see some of these pictures of Amber Heard, Mm -hmm. like when she's in... Rum Diaries? No, I mean, just like... Red carpet pictures and stuff like that. Um, Three million dollars to blast Hunter S. Thompson's ashes from a cannon <laughs> as part of the funeral. Yeah, baby, when you got it like that. Oh, ceremony took place at Hunter at Thompson's Colorado farm, which included the construction of a hundred and fifty foot tower, topped with Hunter's signature symbol. The tower was hoisted. To the top of the 47 meter tower. <laughs> and the ashes were fired from a cannon. The event was tended, attended by many notable people, including John Kerry, Jack Nicholson, John Cusack, Bill Murray, Benicio del Toro, Sean Penn, and Josh Hartnett. Depp said at the time he was just trying to make sure his last wishes came true. <laughs> And I just wanted to send my pal out the way he wanted to go. However, the funeral included in a lawsuit by filed by Depp's ex-managers who claimed that the lavish spending led him to financial ruin. Oh, really? It wasn't the 15 houses he owns? Yeah, no. Or burying his jewelry in the, <laughs> in in the, the desert, desert. Next to a buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> Playing a guitar? Savage. Savage. <laughs> That is, that's how I want to go out, buddy. Yeah, you want me to bury you with my rings? <laughs> no, I want you to fire my ashes out of a cannon, out of a from, cannon. from a 47 foot tower. <laughs> if that's what you really want. Listen, if if I win the Powerball, that's how I'm going out. Yeah. Just saying, I'll, I'll, I'm I'll, down. I'll, I'll front the bill. Man, three million. 
guess. You put him in that. financial ruin for a ruins. <laughs> Three. I'm never. All I picture is the Tiger King. I'm never gonna financially recover from, from this. this. <laughs> Have we checked on the Tiger King? Uh, he's been popping up more and more. <clears throat> is he getting out or what? I don't know. He's looking healthier. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's not looking as methed out as he did. A lot of protein in jail. Protein. <laughs> A lot of protein. A lot of protein. <laughs> he's probably living his best life. You think he wants to be released? He probably misses those daggers. He's not allowed around animals ever again. No? No. Do you think he could have a dog? Stuffed. What if he had the pet butler? Todd Larson's pet butler? You, I mean, Can you I'll... imagine this on a tiger? Oh, boy. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I've had, that's what rich people do, right? You go to a Diddy party, there's a tiger with a fucking champagne bottle on its back. Let's go. Boy. I'm just thinking about Tyson with those white tigers with a pet butler on them. <laughs> just trays of blow on their back. Hell yeah. It'd be bottles of lube at a Diddy party. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody grab your lube. <sighs> what a fucking scumbag that guy. <laughs> Ooh. Did he? How dare you? He was just showing people a good time. Don't you think? Oh, I'm. He's making dreams come true. Mark my words. Like Black Disneyland. The Diddy files will never come out because it'll ruin Hollywood. What? And then he's going to. Uh, once again, be put on suicide watch, and some for some reason the guards gonna fall asleep and the cameras are gonna go off. Probably, they're gonna find old Diddy, <laughs> the diddler, doing the old Epstein swing. Well, <laughs> 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 what his last words be? Can't stop. <laughs> Won't stop. Won't stop. No, it's gross. I mean, money's awesome. That's a lot of money. It turns into a lot of weird. Well, they say, like, when you, the type of person you are, it just, when you get rich, it, like, enhances that. So if you're an asshole and you get rich, you're, like, a super asshole. If you're a fucking creep, you're, like, a super creep. I mean, shout out Jared from Subway. <clears throat> yeah. Super, creep. Super creep. My Lord. And he did so much good. Yeah. Helping a lot of people lose weight. Yeah, but they didn't tell you what was on his Subway sandwich or what he ate. Well, they didn't tell you that he walked back and forth no, like they did. miles on end. They did say that. Not in the commercial. Yeah, they said he walked and ate Subway sandwiches. Yeah, but they walked where? No, he didn't say how much he walked. They said no, he walked. He, he walked a lot. Well, it could have been next door. But then they... When they said about the Subway sandwich, it was like a tuna with, or not tuna, it was a turkey, like turkey sandwich with no, like a dry ass turkey sandwich. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be on that diet. No? I need variety, man. I can't just eat a turkey sandwich every day. It's the spice of life. I mean, I went to, I got a burrito bowl today and it was delicious. Yeah. yeah. Burrito bowl? A little burrito from bowl. Qdoba, right? Yes, sir. Shout out Qdoba. Shout out Qdoba. I like Chipotle better, but uh yeah, you're okay. <laughs> you see I like Qdoba. Qdoba is like the Burger King. I rather go to McDonald's. But if there's, there's only a Burger King around, sure. There's it's a uh, certain the there the certain differences. I like the queso better at Qdoba over. Yeah, there. I'll agree with that. I like the chips better at uh, Chipotle. They weren't bad. I think they switched them up. I've had some bad chips. It's kind of hard to fuck up tortilla chips, but I've had some fucked up tortilla chips. You know whose tortilla chips I <clears throat> I don't understand is Chili's. What do you mean you don't understand? Like, they're so thin. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why are they so thin? Are they peeling like tortilla shells in half? Yeah. Like, like making one ply? 
Yes, one ply toilet paper. That is the perfect description. <laughs> they're, they're, Chili's is one they're, ply they're, chip. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they're t- they're peeling the tortilla chip. Like the, you can hold it up to the light and see right fucking through it. Yeah, and like it's not a scooping chip. And they they just come out like oily as shit. They're wet. The chips are wet. Yet yeah, still crispy. <laughs> yeah, crispy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see through them. It's like <laughs> almost a clear chip. <laughs> Do you remember the Simpsons where Homer was trying to gain all the weight? So he yeah, could, so he could work from home. And they took the fish sandwich and <laughs> went against the wall and wiped it on the wall. And it goes, the wall goes clear and the bird flies into it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fish sandwich, that's too healthy. And Bart goes against the wall with it. And just... I don't remember that part. I just remember he had the bird that would fucking hit the button for him. <laughs> Where's my tab? <laughs> Good uh, times. Uh, you know, memories of when Simpsons was awesome. I used to watch Simpsons like religiously. Well, because it was always on like right before dinner. And it was right after you got off school. It was usually like three episodes on. <clears throat> and then it was dinner time. It's time for me to make Salisbury steaks. Delicious. Mm. What did you have with the Salisbury steaks? I have no idea. You didn't have like mashed potatoes or anything? I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember Salisbury steaks. I don't remember the sides. Like some corn? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to ask my mother. Should I call her? <laughs> yeah, she'd be pumped at midnight to get yeah. a phone call. Wake her up. Hey, Ma, what did you have for sides with the Salisbury steaks mm. when you made them? <sighs> Nothing fancy. I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Not even the good Doritos. <laughs> like the Dr. Thunder version of Doritos. <laughs> the Mountain Lightning. Mountain Lightning. See, that was the only thing I, I didn't like about my, Mountain Lightning tasted more like uh, Mellow Yellow over Mountain Dew. Yeah. For sure. But I like Mellow Yellow. I don't mind Mountain Lightning. No. I, I'd rather I, have I, Mountain Dew. And Dr. Thunder is almost an exact replica of Dr. Pepper. It was good. It's pretty close. Maybe they didn't have all 23 flavors. 22? Yeah. Thinking they missed one? They might have had 19. Yeah? It still had the flavor, but there was a little bit. It what was are the 23 flavors? Uh, one of them is prune. Pruned? Yes. That's, <laughs> why you, that's why you poop real nice after you drink Dr. Really? Dr. Pepper's. Yep. I don't think I've drank enough Dr. Pepper to... I like Dr. Pepper. I poop after everything. Yeah, I heard it. I'm sitting next to you. (laughs) (laughs) Through through the microphone, I can hear the gurgle. (laughs) It's a bit of a gurgle. How's the water? Is that the water that's been sitting down here for three weeks? I dumped that. (laughs) Is that your chaser? Yeah. From the Ecto Cooler? It's one of those ones where it's, you know, the... Uh, I had a chaser, too. The, <laughs> it's Windex, folks. Don't worry about it. You know a movie I just watched that I really enjoyed? What's that? It's Halloween season, so I'm in the spooky mood. Urban Legend. It's a good movie. I like that movie a lot. That's a good movie. I used to fuck with that movie a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I saw it on HBO. It's like, oh, man. I kind of remembered it, but didn't. It had a pretty fucking good cast in it, too. Jarrett Leto and fucking the dude from Dawson's Creek and Mighty Ducks. Jarrett, or Jackson. Something Jackson, I can't think of. Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson. And then the dude who played uh, Lex Luthor in the TV series. I can't remember his name. Yeah, that's that one's You know who I'm talking about. Um, God, who else was in that? Oh, Tara Reid. Prime Terror Reed. Prime for the surgery. Prime Terror Reed. Ladies, come on now. Just. You're, yeah. You're gorgeous. What are you doing here? Yeah, stop. Stop buying into the Hollywood shit. Pretty soon, they're all going to fucking morph into the same person where they just, they all look like Kim Kardashian. Like Megan Fox. Megan Fox is super fucking hot. And now she just, I mean, she's hot, don't get me wrong. But now she just looks like Kim Kardashian's clone. It looks like if she stood too f- close to a heater, her face would melt. 
I just don't get it. Do they just, are they just obligated? They just, I don't know what it is. It's just the pressure. It must be. I, uh, the pressure to stay relevant. Right. And to like be that, that hot still forever. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. Some just age gracefully. Still look good. What's crazy is like they showed, what was it? Madonna when she was on that show, all her plastic surgery. And then they had like Roseanne on something. And everyone's like, Roseanne looks better than Madonna. <laughs> Roseanne does right now, honestly. Well, she just aged gracefully. I mean, she's not like, you know. Well, yeah, you're not going to be like, oh, man. Oh, man, Roseanne's hot as fuck. But it's no. like. No, she's a. She's a fucking good looking older lady. She, she dropped a lot of the weight. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And Who else? Like Goldie Hawn? Just, just aged gracefully? She had some. She's had some work done. Are you thinking of Meg Ryan? No, no, Golden uh, Going Hong recently has had some work. Done. Yeah, but when you're seventy years old, I understand it. It's got to suck though, because I feel like it's harder for women in Hollywood. Oh, like 100%. men, just when they get older, they just get hotter. I don't know, like George Clooney, which is he just keeps getting hotter. Yeah, Brad Pitt still looks like Brad Pitt. Yeah, there's a strong jaw. Well, then you look at Jared Leto, who is older than me. He's 51 and he looks fucking 26. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he, he looks is. the same now as he did in that urban legend movie from 1998. Yeah. He didn't like Mickey Rourke himself. Who looks. Yeah. Good. Well, guys do it too. That's crazy. Like Mickey, what are you doing? He was an attractive fellow. Mickey's I think was from when he was boxing. Remember he was, he was yeah. his face punched in a lot. But still, yeah, you go back and watch the Marlboro Man, right? And yeah. uh, what was the other Harley one? Harley Davidson and the Marlboro, Marlboro Man. Man. He's a handsome fella. I mean, Don Johnson still looks pretty good. Yeah, he does. He's he's held up pretty well. So, yeah, it is. I mean, guys, just it's unfair. I mean, we just kind of. Well, we also don't put a bunch of shit on our face that fucks up our complexion. And I mean, you and I are just getting grayer as these episodes go on. Yeah. Yeah, when we Jeff first, and I both had braided beards today. We did. The kids, uh, kids did a number on us. They had fun. Mine didn't look too bad until I. The first time it was a little bit straighter. The second time she did it, it was. She grabbed the. She was trying. She was yeah. trying to get all of it. Yeah, she. Uh, she was a little off centered, so it <coughs> looked like a bit of a pig dick. Yeah. Curly, like a duck. Like a Dude, duck's dong. I saw, I finally saw a, like a I was watching a Rogan podcast today. Yeah. <laughs> they showed the duck. Did they dog. show it? Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. Oh, if you've never seen a duck's wang, Google go ahead it. and Google that. That is one of the most terrifying Fuck up things. your algorithm. Yeah, they, it's the most terrifying thing you'll ever see. And they say they're very rapey. Very much so. So the 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 female ducks Vagina is like a labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> Which is wild to think of. It just evolves that way. Weird stuff. What do you think our dongs are going to look like in a thousand years? Not ours. We'll be dead. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> Future generations. <laughs> it's Dust. Dust. Dust in the wind. Yeah, that's us. Dongs in the wind. Dongs in the wind. <laughs> That might be the name of this podcast. <laughs> Dong, where is my automobile? Dong? <laughs> what do you think, though? I don't know. We're definitely evolving because these fucking high school kids are like six foot. None eight. of them, none of them are under six foot. Except, yeah, you're, I went to high school. I was like 5'11". I was pretty. You were tall for the class. Tall, I felt like. Like the tallest kid was maybe six four, and like, now it's like they are all fucking six foot. Like the tallest kid we had in <clears throat> school when I was in school was six six, and uh, yes, he played basketball, but I never saw him dunk. Which I'm six four, so if I I I if I could dunk, I just don't have the uh, leg. For it, yeah. I have long torso, <laughs> short legs, 
So there's not a lot of spring in my knees. Mm, yeah. Even when I was younger, there wasn't a lot of spring there. I dunked one time. Yeah. And that just happened to be like a tip bag dunk. And I yeah. just, <laughs> I got a good jump and I got up there and got it. And I was like, yes, finally. Then I can never do it again. Just going after that ball. You, you, it's chasing. Your mouth was watering. It's chasing the dragon. Mm-hmm. No, they're all taller than fucking shit. It's unbelievable. Well, we got our, our friend, fucking Super Fox. His kid's what, a freshman? 6'3"? Played some varsity played some varsity snaps at a quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, he's taller than shit. That kid, boy. That kid, could, that kid honestly could be the best athlete out of this area in the last 20 years. He was in eighth grade dunking volleyballs. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, these kids, man. It must be the fucking milk. It's the milk. Or the fluoride in the water. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's scary. It's scary to think we're there's some Amazon kids out there. Like Just a bunch of tall people fucking or what? All the shorts are they're not fucking? I think they're fucking more. I just think. <laughs> think the short people are fucking more? Yeah. I just think the... Uh, Tall people are like a, a one kid, maybe two kid family. Yeah. And the short families are the ones that are popping them out like puppies, <laughs> like a puppy mill. Oh, yeah. I mean, so honestly. Pretty soon we're going to have a, it's going to figure itself out. It, it's going to, it's idiocracy. It's yeah. 100% idi- the beginning of idiocracy where the two smart people. Career driven. Never have kids. And the and the dummy down the streets got everybody knocked up. Just one tree. Yeah, it's just everybody. No, it's like a family tree that's just spread out. So twenty three and Me is going to be just totally fucked. I still want to know why everybody at twenty three and Me quit all on the same day. Yeah, it's weird. Everybody's oh, it was financial. No, no, there's. That they have millions of people's DNA. Well, didn't a corporation like BlackRock or something fucking buy it? Right? I mean, shit. Can't say that, man. We, we already get tagged. Oh, that's right. We already get tagged on everything that we say on this podcast. And we've got... We don't... I got flagged twice because uh, apparently I was trying to get someone's cryptic information. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We have never asked... The only thing we've ever asked of anybody on this podcast is to like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, but that's asking too much. We've never asked for anybody's information. We've never asked. I mean. Well, it's only happened on podcasts that we've had guests on and talk politics. And then it gets flagged for trying to persuade them to give us their Personal information, cryptic. It says cryptic information. Yeah, we have never, never done that. Yeah, bro. What's your, uh, what's your credit card number? Which one? <laughs> the one I use, or the one that's? <laughs> you ever seen that video where they're like, uh, they're doing like street interviews with people? Oh, the social and security number? No, she's asking for like their password. She's like, would you ever give your password away? She's like, no, absolutely not. And then she kind of bullshits her, loosens her up a little bit. And, oh, so what's your... She's like, what is your password? Oh, it's my dog in the year yeah. I graduated. And then, ha ha. So they talk a little bit more. She's like, oh, do you have a dog? She's like, yeah, I do have a dog. What's his name? She gives the dog's name. She's like, oh, that's great. She's like, uh, so what year did you graduate? She just gave it up, gave up her password like, like fucking that. <laughs> Within five minutes, this bitch had her all her passwords. So dumb. Be smart, people. Okay. Well, if you're listening to this, you. I don't know. You might be smart if you listen to us. Yeah. And give us your cryptic information, please. <laughs> don't. Please don't. YouTube. I'm not asking. No. I'm telling. No, unfortunately, we're good people on the internet. Mm. We don't want the only thing we want from you is for you to have a good time and listen to us. You laugh. This is the laugh buffet. This, yes, a buffet of laughter. 
We'll give you everything you need. All I know is, <laughs> boy, we're not going to talk politics, but holy balls, there is stuff coming out about Harrison Walls that's pretty damning. Harrison Walls? That Walls guy freaks me out. It's, it's, the, it's even the way he talks, the way his mouth moves. I, it bothers me. I don't know why. I mean, don't get me wrong. Trump bothers me. A lot of it. Like his 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 face. <laughs> his face. The guy, you know, the guy with the head. Yeah, uh, there's there's stuff coming out that's, I'm not going to say. Are it. they doing it? No, no, no. It's. Uh, Think Waltz is banging Harris? Not a chance. This is getting taken down. We just started talking politics. Uh, well, there's out. stuff coming out about Harris's <clears throat> husband. What? Of uh, giving a lady the old backhand and oh. causing her to have a miscarriage. Conspiracy theory. Allegedly, 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 mm. allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, he backhanded a woman? Yes, that caused her to have a miscarriage. <clears throat> and then uh, some, allegedly, Tim Walls has some uh, Sandusky stuff coming out. No. Yeah. No uh, you know what? Allegedly. That mouth with that mouth, it doesn't surprise me. They, they call him Touchdown Timmy. Touchdown Timmy? Who does? When he was the football coach. Of what? A uh, high school. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This is the guy also who wants tampons in men's bathrooms. So Oh, that seems reasonable. They're not going to get used. He can put them there. Oh, they're going to use. They're going to use the clogged <laughs> toilets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do debauchery. Hell yeah! I'm going to put some alcohol on it and shove it up my ass. <laughs> That's how you get drunk. Remember that was the thing for a while. Yep. It probably still is. Ladies were putting alcohol in their tampons and shoving them up their hoo hahs. Get you drunk faster. By I guess bypasses the liver. We should try it one night. No. Maybe I'm trying it right now. You don't even know. You don't even know. Good. I, I hope you are. Does it burn? Is there a little sting to it? Mm. It's a good burn, though. <laughs> it's a steady burn. <laughs> it's deep, deep burn. Yeah, it's kind of like doing a shot. It just burns the throat like a little bit. God, we've been, the den's been penetrated. Again. We say an hour and we get 42 minutes of... 42 um, minutes? An hour is 60 minutes. Uh, Upstairs. Get out of the den. We're doing God's work. This is the basement, actually. <laughs> Bella, there's towels upstairs. My Lord, we need a studio. An actual studio. Off, Come on, Powerball win. Off campus. Wait, Sean. Invaded by miners. I hope. All right, Bell. Go upstairs, please, for the love of God. Tomorrow morning. Okay, so how's it going? We're doing the we're, kids are doing laundry. They kids don't do anything. I asked, Hey, go do laundry. It hasn't been done for six days, but we do the podcast. They got to some for some reason they're gonna grab towels out of the dryer. There's like a thousand towels. Mm hmm. So, what we're talking about, I tell you, gang violence, gang violence, gang gang. I keep sinking deeper in this chair here. Don't sink any deeper. <laughs> All right, upstairs, guys, please. I beg you. Thank you for emptying the, the dryer. Thank you for doing a chore without even being asked for no possible reason. All right, I love you. Go upstairs. My Lord. One day, Sean. I'm telling you, buddy. We're getting close. We're getting close. And the only reason why I say that is because it's manifesting. Well, you know what? Once this pet butler 
fucking money starts rolling in. Yes. I think we I think we're on to something here. Um That's right. Todd Larson's pet butler, serving vest for animals. Also the pet sweeper. Um you can get some dust boots for your animal so that they're not just walking around not doing shit. <laughs> Fucking sweep the floor while they're at it, the lazy bastards. All they do is shit me. Right. The fuck? And get your all, ass to work. And give I mean, my love. kids have chores. Why not my fucking dogs? You get your ass out there and you find that fucking right? dog. Right? Like, do something. <laughs> Pieces of shit. Just want to eat and get rubbed. When I come back, though, I'm coming back as a dog. I want to well, yeah, but knowing our yeah, life. I'll probably get some dickhead owner who beats me, or or we'll end up as like <laughs> uh, in China, <laughs> we're, we're getting stir fried. Yeah, or Russia just fighting for our lives in the cold. Trump, don't trust China. China is asshole. Yeah, <laughs> fucking cat, cunty ass cat. I don't know, man. I I wouldn't mind being a cat. Kind oh, of just... nimbly bimbly, jumping from tree, tree to tree. tree. Is that what you want, or you just want to you just want to hunt? No, I, I would like to be. Actually, I like to come back as one of your cats and just put my butthole on camera every time. We do right, it. you could be. You could still do YouTube. <laughs> just cat booty hole. I haven't had their booty hole out tonight. They've been pretty chill. Yeah, Chewy's on one. I don't know. We can't. Don't look at him. You make eye contact. He's Set coming. His name. Fuck. All right, he's got his head in his ball. Just keep it quiet. You come over here, Chewie. I'm getting this vest on you. <laughs> you bring me a fucking goddamn drink. <laughs> Start fucking paying your due around here. Man, you know, have you seen those videos of the guys that have trained their dogs to get beers? Yeah, he's got, like, the rope on the fridge. Yeah. The dog pulls the rope and opens the fridge and grabs him a beer. And mm-hmm. you, that's on you. I did this. It's yeah, on you. I did it. No, he's going to the saucer. <laughs> it's the only cat I've ever seen that is drinking out of the the eject goes for the water softener. <laughs> <laughs> just salt water coming He out. drinks it like a fucking hamster out of the little fucking out of the little thing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is that what they called you back in high school? The hamster? Fucking muscle hamster. So how's uh how's the snack thing going? The sober October, but not sober, but it's not bad. It hasn't been bad. I've there's you know, you know with the caffeine oh, thing, I've had to wean myself off because yeah. of the headaches. Oh yeah, it's a real thing. Oh, they suck, dude. And it's just it's just a constant driving head ache. Just yeah, the hot poker behind the eye kind of headache, almost a migraine. But other than that, yeah, I've been good. I've been eating much no, better. No cookies? No. I haven't had any cookies. No cookies? No cookies. What about chips? Are chips okay? I had... Are you uh, talking about just like sweet sweets? Sweet sweets. I had... No, uh, uh, any uh, cream pies? No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> no, sir. No, okay. I'm just no, checking. I've uh, switched... Uh, I've been doing... When I want something sweet, I'll have... A peach or a piece of fruit. Oh yeah. Well, you can eat a peach for hours, so it takes. Yes. It takes uh. Nice. It like takes a little bit, you know. Takes some time. Just, ju- I just like to enjoy the peach, you know. I don't want to just scarf it down. Yeah, I don't. I, bar- take I don't want to just bury it. my face in it. I no, wanna you wanna <laughs> just slow savor it. Get all the way to the pit. Mm-hmm. Do the alphabet in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There he is, everybody. Ugh, making his appearance. Fan favorite. Chewbacca banana. Yep. I do have, I do eat a lot of bananas now. I bet. <laughs> One bite. Your mouth, right? Yes. Okay. I'm not like you and popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> Only person- yeah, I gotta slow down. It's getting cooler now. <laughs> Only person I know that can tell me the flavor by sticking it up his ass. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, that's cherry. Cherry. Ooh, lemon lime is a sting. It does a little bit. 
Now, if you had the pet butler here, you could have an ashtray on his back, and you could go back to smoking cigs. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> ashtray right on this cat. Uh, I'm down. Can you really taste food by putting your balls in it? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old episode. We had that conversation on an old episode. Because there was a guy who said he could... He knew what sauce his balls were in. He'd dip his balls in a sauce. And he'd be I like, still think he can smell the ranch. sauce. What if they had them all lined up and he was blindfolded and he would just go from sauce to sauce? Maybe he just knew from the texture. I don't know, man. I've Textures are all pretty close. I don't know. We should try it. I'm not teabagging ranch, buddy. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know it's going to be ranch. I'm going to have an assortment. No, yeah, you're going to give me hot sauce. And I'm going to be, <laughs> <laughs> going to be burning. Yeah, that's definitely hot sauce. I want you to run the gauntlet like fucking Hot Shots Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have peanut butter <laughs> and then some sprinkles. <laughs> They're dazzling my nutsack. Is that what's yes, going on? yes. It has some glitter. Secretly. It's going to look like a fucking Christmas <laughs> ornament. <laughs> some glitter. Oh, yeah. Never Why gonna, not? I'm never going to get it off. <laughs> There's always going to be one piece of glitter on There's the always, sack. I always have. I love it. Are you down for the challenge? No. Come on, <laughs> Glitter balls. Let's go. <laughs> Don't be, because you're scared. <laughs> so, so I dip my balls in glitter and hang from the ceiling and we'll show you the light yeah. on like a disco ball? Yeah, we will. I think we're on to something. Don't shatter my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what if you did? What if you what if I blindfolded you and dipped your nuts in something and you could taste it and you're like, holy fuck. That's peanut butter. It's physically impossible. Like, oh my god, I can taste it. Oh hey, why don't you uh, steal uh, Picasso's? Well, the guy used to paint paintings with Picasso's. Picasso. Picasso's. Yeah, he paints pictures with his dong. Really? Why don't you do some shoes with your wiener? <laughs> Try <Jar> double. <laughs> it's just dong stamping these shoes. <laughs> Can't get the paint off your shaft. <laughs> I definitely use black paint though, so it would look way bigger. You know, my other penis is black. <laughs> your other <laughs> penis is black. <laughs> you know, like the bumper stickers. The <laughs> yeah, my other, other car. cars are Ferrari. Yeah, my other, my penis, other penis is black. <laughs> <laughs> Which cock am I getting tonight? Have you seen those, the clona clona willy, where if you're yeah, you like dip your dick in the thing and you can make a sex toy for your lady. Would you ever do it? I don't see the point. Why? I would just. Why does it have to be my dong? She gets my dong, and she want another dong. Yeah, but some with a tickling rabbit on it and balls that spin. Well, it comes with the, the vibrator. Your dong don't do that. Mm. Would you ever? I guess. It paint shakes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess if she wanted it. I wouldn't just go. I'm like, hey, I got you something. So, so when you go on vacation, you I don't want her to me. laugh again. You can take, take a little bit of me with you on vacation. Yeah, she's up in the Dells right now, twerking on top of a cop car. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting white girl wasted up in the Dells. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, God. You know the company she's in. Yeah. They're fucking shit bagged right now. 100%. Shout out. Someone's honey. crying. Love you. She'll be back soon, ladies and gentlemen. She, well, she's been tired. Work, work's been kicking her ass. She's been tired or not here. Winter's com- winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be landlocked a lot. Yep. Actually, it, it might is. be her and I on a couple of these because you might be out plowing. Plowing. The snow. The snow. 
his days of being a gigolo are over. Uh, he got that handcuff on his finger. Mm-hmm. Let freedom ring. <laughs> Circle. <laughs> Circle. Circle of trust. Yeah, so we're partying. Love it. So you just got done doing some, uh, you got the cleats up? Your knees. Oh, your, yeah. The cleats videos up? Yeah, now we got a new pair doing some uh, some Walmart specials. I'm ready. He's expanding his uh, portfolio. I just don't care. I accept it as a challenge to take something and make it cool. You know what I'm saying? Like my niece's shoes were like secondhand store shoes. So I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's let's do something. You know, especially with the kids, all this stuff is so fucking expensive, man. This travel shit. And then especially when you're doing the travel ball, because then they're playing like in different areas. I remember when the boys were doing it, they had tournaments in like Green Bay. So now you got to get fucking hotel rooms and you buy kids these expensive cleats and by the end of it, they're done. They're done with it. So, yeah, just get secondhand cleats for your kids and, I don't know, fucking paint them yourself. Try some out. Just Why not? Or I'll do it. Spray the shit out of them with tough acting to acting. Yeah. Sure. I want to do some fucking Linex cleats. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be... Right? They would look tough. They'd foot... probably be durable. On a football field, though, too? Yeah. Can you imagine something... You know when you get, you know you've, you've had people run up on your calves before with oh, yeah. cleats and stuff like. Can you imagine a Linex burned. Uh, oh, I fuck this. I'll do the whole team. Oh, just Linex. That's just <laughs> dirty. Play. Why don't you do their gloves too? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> just scrape it. <laughs> just kids are bleeding all Come over the place. Come and get it. Come and get some. See, we're 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 going back to our youth where we would look to injure people. And, yeah, like we played. A game that you, King of the Mountain, we used to call it something else. We can't call it that anymore. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Obama. Rhymed with <laughs> smear the deer. <laughs> <laughs> Rhymed with drink some beers. Oh, yeah, baby. Drink some Ecto coolers and some blue meanies. That's Jeff's signature drink. So good. The orange is good too, though. The orange is delicious. All of them are good. I love Mio. Mio is a. Uh, it was a game changer for me. I was a big beer drinker, and then I got to the point where I just, I was drinking so much and not getting drunk, and just felt like a fifty-pound bag of shit. I was just so full, like I just got done at the fucking buffet. Like I think the uh, beer stopped once we started DJing. <laughs> Because beers would get warm. No, I still drank beers, but then it just, I, just, I think like when I just started working out, because I was looking for like a healthier thing than beer. Yeah. And I was like, well, vodka, and then just, and then I was on the soda, and then I was like, well, the soda's not helping. So I just did the water, vodka water. And I was like, this doesn't really taste that great. And well, it was then, vodka and lemonade for a minute. Yeah. And then it was vodka, water, and then the Mio. So, go get you some. And if you're... Uh, uh, make a 50-50-50. And if you have never seen that video, it's up on our YouTube channel. It is. It's oldie, but a goodie. You were in a tracksuit in that video. I was in a tracksuit. Track shirt, sure. Yeah, you looked Can like I a, get that out of there? Track yeah, you looked like an Eastern European drug dealer. <laughs> uh, show me your butthole. <laughs> Try to relax your hand. Play that one. And then we'll, uh, what yeah. are we at now? We're, we're almost there. Right there? Oh, I'm almost there. Try to relax your anus. That's that's the tracksuit I had on. Yeah, you looked like you were going to, you're going to break someone's kneecaps that owed you, mm -hmm. owed some money to your boss. Take your drink. Then we fucked this fucker up. <laughs> <laughs> You kick off Lady Starfish. Eastern European jizz. <laughs> what is that? Cinnamon Smoking roll. Races. Cinnamon Smoking. roll. Dude, one of the fucking... That movie was not great. I did go back and watch it, and it's not as bad as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. 
That scene might be one of my favorite scenes of all time. <laughs> I don't think you can what do is that? that? Cinnamon roll. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it the roll of the cinnamon? <laughs> that looks like Eastern European jizz. I uh, my fifteen hundred dollar <laughs> mink jacket. <laughs> that doesn't go. You can't take that to the dry cleaner. No. <laughs> uh smoking aces. That yeah. was we talking about casts. That, that was, fucking cast was. It yeah, wasn't Ryan Reynolds in that one. Yeah. And uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta and. Pretty sure Matt Damon or not Matt Damon. Alicia ben Keys Affleck. was in that movie. Yeah, wasn't Common. It? Common. Uh, Jeremy Piven, obviously. Uh, who's that handsome fella? Chris Pine was in it before he was like famous. Famous was it? Well, it wasn't Captain America, right? It was the other guy. No, um, the guy who looks like Team America World Police. Strong jaw. He was. Uh, he was in the Wonder Woman movies. Yes, that guy. Jeez. And plenty other. Um, God, I can't even think of the guy's name. The guy who was. Uh, I don't know. It was a hell of a fucking cast. Go Google it. Yeah, it was. That there was a couple movies like that that were weren't awesome, but they had a really strong cast. You know, a movie I haven't watched in a while that I kind of want to go back and watch. Hmm. Was that Paul Walker with the uh, Running Scared? Was that that what it was? movie is fucking? That's my favorite Paul Walker movie. That the, movie is awesome. That hockey scene where he's taking yeah the, the black light off the face yeah. That was a good gangster movie. Underrated. I think, yeah, it's my favorite Paul Walker movie. You know what my favorite Vin Diesel movie is? Pitch Black? That's no. my favorite. No. Which one? Boiler Room. Oh, yeah. Giovanna Ribisi. That was a good movie. I, that was a very good movie. <sighs> this movie wasn't the greatest, but I enjoyed his character in Knock Around Guys. Yeah. Just a... Fucking tough ass motherfucker. I thought you were gonna say the pacifier. How dare you? How <laughs> fucking dare you? That might be the one of the worst movies of all time. I don't know. The Rock's uh, Tooth Fairy was a tough one too. Yeah, they all do those ones, you know. Yeah, the Rock. They had... all try to copy Kindergarten Cop. That movie is just—it's so good to mix the action and comedy. I don't know what it is about like that movie is so good, Kindergarten Cop. To mix It was a well written movie. And Arnold played it so good. Just this douchebag hard ass guy. I like you, Cindy. I'm gonna be around days, nights, weekends, holidays. Arnold is a <laughs> romantic lead is rough. And he made it work in that movie. Yes. He was just funny yeah. because he did not want to be there and you knew it. And it was just, it was so good. I don't have a Duma. The kids were just driving him fucking insane. And the kids too were super fucking good. Boys have a penis. Girls <laughs> have a vagina. Maybe everybody needs to go back and watch that movie. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> With that being the said. Bathroom. <laughs> that brings us to a close of another episode of... The gentleman's den. Yes. Don't forget to go and check out kicks and canvas underscore two, two, three on Instagram. Go check out small town infamous as well. Both of those are on TikTok as well. We'll start putting more content out there. We'll try. We're going to have some reels and stuff coming out too from the podcast so we can, uh, you know, you can share them with your friends and pass them along. Tell them how much of a awesome awesome group of dipshits we are for that being said for jeff i am sean thank you once again for coming into the den we will see you again next week no we won't i'll be in nebraska so we will nebraska nebraska so we will see you in uh two weeks see you in two weeks unless we record on thursday well we'll we'll see Uh, hold on let her get her time yep there it is. There it is, y'all. Mama Just for Cupcake said her said her uh said her hello. We saved the best for last. See ya in two <laughs> weeks, possibly. <laughs> Later. Later.